Okay, using the p-value approach, we're, we have a hypothesis test to do. The null hypothesis is that the population proportion is 0.4. The alternative is that the population proportion is greater than 0.4. We have a sample size of 250. We have a sample, uh, a sample uh, count, a frequency of 110. That's 110 people from the survey said yes to whatever arbitrary survey question we asked. And the alpha level of 0.01 is, uh, is the decider for whether or not to reject this null hypothesis. If we calculate a p-value, if it's less than the significance level, that means we have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis in favor of this particular alternative hypothesis, that the proportion is greater than 0.4. So we have to do a couple checks to see if we have conditions met for doing a hypothesis test. These are conditions for whether or not the central limit theorem applies. So the, the first check is whether our sample size is big enough. Is the sample size, uh, that's 250, uh, I'll put this here, is the sample size times the, um, the proportion from the null hypothesis, 0.4, times 1 minus 0.4 uh, is that greater than or equal to 10 yes indeed it is that's a good check now um, the other check would be if the sample size isn't too big but that's really not a realistic concern in many cases so and it's certainly not in this case for a sample size of 250 um, we're going to assume this the population is huge and so that 250 doesn't come close to being too big of a sample size, such that our, sample, uh, our samples would no longer be independent of each other. So let's find this p-value. Under the stat menu in StatCrunch, we're going to go for proportion stats, one sample proportion stats with summary. And here we're going to set the number of successes was 110, that's our sample frequency, out of 250. And we're going to um, perform a hypothesis test, p equal to 0.4, that's our null hypothesis, p greater than 0.4. So that's it, you just set that up and you click compute. And what we're going to get here, I'll, I'll make this a little bigger so we can see it all. We are given the p-value. We're given a standard error of our estimate, our estimate of 0.44, a standard error, uh, the Z statistic 1.29 and the p-value. So all we need here is the p-value. So let's just copy it in with three decimal places, 0 0.0984. Now, is that p-value less than my alpha level? Nope, it is not. We fail to reject. We do not reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is greater than alpha. That's how we make our conclusion for the using the p-value approach.